Believe it or not, Old Gamer Joe was a bit of a troublemaker back in my high school years. Yes, well, maybe not a troublemaker per se, but let's just say I like to have fun. We've had games in the past, like 2006 Bully, explore juvenile delinquency, and I gotta say, it's a funny concept for a video game to run around causing mischief on a school campus. Troublemaker from developer Gamecom team and publisher Freedom Games puts you in the shoes of Booty, who can't seem to stop himself from getting involved in backyard brawls. After a particularly spicy encounter, Booty is sent off to a private school in Indonesia by his mother, where he's supposed to start being a good little boy, but instead discovers that his new school hosts a fighting tournament, and inevitably he ends up involved not only in that tournament, but in various other scuffles as well. It's a funny premise with some chuckles here or there, and the game has rather lengthy cutscenes of dialogue between your brawling and general exploration. These scenes are amusing at times, though the translation is far from perfect. While I did think many of the narrative moments dragged a bit, if the goal was to entertain and get a laugh out of the audience, I consider Troublemaker's narrative somewhat of a success. Heck, you'll have a good idea if the humor is for you right as you boot up the game, where you are thanked for playing legally, or told to fuck off if you pirated the game. Troublemaker is essentially broken up into two core gameplay sections, the fights of course, and walking around the school while purchasing items and upgrades and doing silly mini-games to earn cash. The brawls are of course the main focus, and much like the story, the fighting engine is amusing, but definitely not exceptional. Booty can block attacks and unleash very basic heavy and light attacks on his foes. Sometimes you'll find yourself fighting multiple enemies at once, while other times battling through a one-on-one -on -one encounter. You can of course dodge and run, with the game also featuring two built-in menus using the left and and right bumpers respectively. One button allows you to pull out items such as wine which can restore your health, and the other button pulls up sick move special attacks. These attacks are comical in nature, like allowing Booty to turn into a farmer and smack his enemy with a hoe, or toss a sandal at them, but they do dish out a bit more damage. You also have an energy bar that you'll need to keep an eye on so that your defenses aren't lowered, and you can zoom in and lock on to your opponents as well. It will all remind you of a little bit of a watered down version of Yakuza or something like that. It's goofy and mildly amusing, and you can unlock more skills and upgrades as you go, but after about 10 or so of these fights, you realize that this fighting engine isn't as deep as it may initially appear, and that will appeal to folks that love simplistic brawling, but not so much to those that were hoping to string together complex combinations or anything like that. You do have difficulty options as well, and while playing on the normal setting, I found the game to be a bit on the easy side, so you might want to bump that up one. Most of the enemies fall into a fairly predictable pattern where you simply dance around them, pluck away with attacks and win the day. So overall, the fighting is fun in short bursts, but gets a bit dull and predictable after hours of gameplay. Also, sometimes it was a bit unresponsive. I would tap the right bumper or the left bumper, and the menu wouldn't appear at all. You'd have to tap it a few times to get it to work. As for the exploration, Troublemaker does eventually open up the school grounds a bit, but the area can still feel pretty restricted. A map will show you areas of importance, but mainly your focus is going to be on doing silly little mini games to earn cash, like push-ups, hide-and-seek, or or even a card battle game. None of these are amazing, but they were fun little diversions that reminded me a bit of how you would earn cash in the No More Heroes series. If you were hoping for building relationships with your gang or your crew or whatever you want to call them, that never gets as deep as you would like either. You're not going to have a Persona style experience here. You will build a little bit of love and trust between certain characters, but it's just not as deep as I would have liked to have seen. And the visuals, well, Troublemaker, it looks okay. I had the visuals maxed out and the game maintained about 60 FPS on a 2070 Super, but if you were hoping to play on Steam Deck, your experience isn't going to be quite there yet. It will boot up and you can play it, but I did have to drop it to low settings to get anywhere near 60 FPS. Also, certain load screens weren't appearing yet, or the title screen, it kind of looked weird. So it's playable, but caution here, I wouldn't quite advise it on the Steam Deck just yet. Character models in this game aren't particularly detailed. The campus is often closed off without a ton of NPCs walking around, so it doesn't feel all that alive. And the color palette for the game is honestly a bit on the drab side. The star of the show visually would be more the portrait art for the characters, which is quite beautiful. So in the end, Troublemaker looks okay. Not offensively bad, but definitely not great. When it comes to the sound design, however, it's pretty good here. Some of the chugging guitar riffs fit the mood really well. And during dialogue sections, characters will let out plenty of moans and laughs, cute little noises, which do get a little bit repetitive. But I'd say the sound typically fits the vibe of this game pretty well, with some of the music being borderline great. 
In the end, if you're looking for a fun little brawler that is a bit on the simplistic side, but will make you laugh from time to time, Troublemaker is an okay choice. The translation isn't great, but the script is amusing, the combat is decent at best, but eventually does wear out its welcome, and the exploration feels rather restricted. There's an okay upgrade system, but I feel like the building of relationships could have been stronger as well. Despite all of its flaws, I had an okay time playing this one, and if you got maybe 7 or 8 hours to kill, Troublemaker isn't the worst way to do it. The game won't quite give you a full-on wedgie. In fact, it's a decent after-school snack. Ah.